Hello, my name is Attorney Jason Lyle, and I am the Dad's Doll Law Attorney for Northeastern Oklahoma. So how is it that you modify child support, and when would you need to modify your child support, whether you're the recipient or you're the payer? The simple answer to that question is, is that child support can and should be modified under one of two circumstances. If one of the parties or both of the parties' income has changed so radically that the number would be different enough that it's worth modifying. Um, and you should know that in the child support spreadsheet in Oklahoma, the income is not the greatest factor. So oftentimes, if income for one party swings even ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, the, result, the resulting change in the base child support amount is pretty minimal. The second reason why you might want to modify child support, or it might be necessary, is that the number of overnights that the parent who's receiving them or paying should be paying has changed, either by practice of the parties, by agreement, or they're just not taking their, their visitation. Um, so how would you know if your ex's income has changed? Well, under Oklahoma law, you are entitled by simply written request every year to their tax information. You can and should ask for their tax information every year if you're concerned that their income has changed. Um, and you can get online, look up an Oklahoma child support calculator once you have that information. And if it's changed enough that it's worth calling a lawyer to help you do that, then you can call a lawyer to help you do that. It is an income change like that is considered a material change in circumstance, which is the pretty high standard for changing custody or visitation. Um, that has to be, it's the threshold that has to be met first if you want to change custody or visitation. But with regard to child support, that automatically meets that threshold to say the party's income has changed and child support should be changed. So it's a lower threshold. Um, and now, if you're wanting to change child support because the number of overnights um, for the party who's supposed to be paying has changed, then you need to know that the threshold is 121 a year, up to 180 or 81 or so. In that range, depending on where they fall in that range, they get a discount for what we call shared parenting time. Um, if it's dropped below what it was between 180, definitely if it's below 120, in practice, that's more complicated because you have to go to the court and tell them they're not taking the visitation that they were awarded or it's not being given to them or whatever, then you get into um, more difficult evidentiary issues because they may say, well, I'm not taking those nights because the child isn't available to me or you're not enforcing um, or following the visitation order. So if you look like, if you're in a situation where you think the child support might need to be looked at to be changed and you need advice about that or any other family law matter, my name is attorney Jason Lyle and I would be happy to consult with you um, at dads.law. Thank you very much.